first you want to unlock your FPS. FPS are capped at 60, so you download this unlocker here. Link in the description. Save the file, extract it in your download folder. Once it's extracted, you want to put it somewhere that's easily accessible to you. Run this uh, by double clicking it. It will minimize the system tray. And what this does is whenever this is running, your Roblox games are not capped at 60 FPS anymore. Remember, this removes the cap. It does not boost your FPS. So if you're already under 60 FPS, this will basically have no effect. All right, step two, how to return Alt Enter to its prior functionality. First thing, what is its prior functionality? It is to enter true full screen because the Roblox full screen is not true full screen. Entering true full screen will improve your FPS and remove input lag. So the only thing you really need from this page is to download this client app settings file. Now I'm gonna hit cancel because I already have the file, but hit okay. Now what we're gonna do is to go to your local Roblox folder, uh, find the latest version, and create a folder called client settings inside of that, put the file we just downloaded, and that's about it. That JSON file has one line that puts flag handle alt enter full screen manually to false. Search for run, type percentage, app data, percentage, hit OK. This opens up the roaming folder. Uh, what we're gonna do is click one back to app data, go to local, find the Roblox folder within all of them, and then hit the over two versions. You wanna click the latest version, might be the only version, create a folder called client settings. The spelling is important, capital C, capital S, no space between the words. Once you have that folder, you go back to the file you downloaded, copy it, and this is something you'll be needing to do every time Roblox updates, unfortunately. So you copy that file and then you paste it into the client settings folder. Another thing that's not mentioned in the link, but is very important is to right click Roblox player launcher in the version folder, go to compatibility and then disable full screen optimizations. This is for Windows 10. I do the same thing for the player beta, but I heard that's not necessary. Either way, this is something you need to do also every time Roblox updates. All right, results. As you can see, I launched Roblox Bad Business and I am capped at 60 FPS. What I'm gonna do is open up the FPS unlocker, which will minimize. This can be done before or in game. And as you can see, I am now maxing out at like 200 with 180 average. This can be boosted a bit by hitting the Alt Enter. There you go. You can see my FPS just maxed out at 220 right there and I'm getting like a nice 200 average. Uh, it also depends on the different factors. But the most important part of outside the small FPS boost is that I have no more input lag, which is very useful for games that require aiming like uh, Bad Business or Phantom Forces. And so remember step one needs to be done before launching or in game and then step two needs to be done every time Roblox updates.